With a story that includes answers to questions many women have about breast cancer, here's reporter Laura Windsor. Most women wonder how to evaluate their chances of surviving breast cancer. Now Dr. Jay Harness of St. Joseph Hospital in Orange provides answers to the most common questions about this disease. The concept of a comprehensive breast center is to bring all the disciplines that you need to one location at one time. So breast surgeons, medical oncologists, and radiation oncologists will be coming to one place at one time to provide what's the equivalent of one-stop shopping for women with breast cancer. In addition to that, we'll also be seeing women with benign disorders of the breast, and uh, we will also be offering emerging technologies, including new technologies in whole breast ultrasound scanning and um, microwave heating of breast cancers. Probably the number one question I'm asked is, am I gonna survive? And the answer to that question is, the majority of time, you are gonna survive. There are two things that have impacted women's survival from breast cancer. First is the fact that we're doing so much screening now that we're detecting breast cancer earlier. And the earlier we find not only breast cancer, but any cancer, the better the chances of survival. So that's on the front end. And on the back end, women are surviving more because our therapies have gotten better. Our type of radiation therapy that we're doing, the types of chemotherapy that we're doing. So in the aggregate, the answer is yes, in all likelihood, you're going to survive. And I also counsel women that when they're concerned about chemotherapy and things like that, that what we're trying to do today is to build a bridge to the future because the things that are in the research lab right now are enormous and we want to make sure that a patient today gets the standard of care to build a bridge three, five years down the road so that what's next coming out of the lab will be available to her. Probably the second thing that they're concerned about are the effects of chemotherapy. And most women, understandably, are very afraid of losing all of the hair in their body, not only the hair on their head, their eyebrows, and, and what have you. And that's frightening to them. And, um, and that's a major turnoff uh, to women, let alone sort of the medical complications that you can get into with chemotherapy. I would say the third thing that women uh, ask me on a regular basis is, do I have to lose my breast with breast cancer, meaning a mastectomy? Um, and uh, if they don't lose their breast, is it still good enough treatment? Uh, the idea, if, if the breast is completely gone, somehow I have a greater chance of surviving. And what they don't realize is that uh, national and international studies have shown that women don't have to lose their breast, necessarily, and that if the breast is preserved, their chances of survival are the same versus if they had a mastectomy. Probably the fourth thing that I'm asked about frequently is what's it going to look like after you do the surgery? Is it going to still look like my breast? And if I have radiation therapy, is it still going to feel like my natural breast? And the vast majority of time, we can answer in the affirmative. Your breast is going to look natural and look good, and um, there may be a little bit of firming uh, to the breast from radiation therapy if we save your breast but by and large, you're gonna think it's pretty darn normal. And uh, the fifth thing is just, when can I get back to my normal activities of daily living? And after surgery, how much in the way of restrictions are there, and uh, how much am I gonna have to limit on my lifestyle, and things of that sort? And the answer is, while there is a recovery time involved from any surgery and chemotherapy and radiation, by and large, most people are able to get back to their normal lifestyles pretty quickly. Whether you're just curious about the latest research or facing breast cancer head-on, you'd be wise to stay in touch with your doctor. This is Laura Windsor for the American Health Journal.